Let's recreate my viral yogurt split hair dye 10 years later and see if your girl still got it. This is what I'm starting with, and I had a dark teal in my hair before this that I faded with two rounds of vitamin C and a 10 minute bleach bath since the color was very stubborn to get out. And you can see that there's still a bit of teal and a little faded purple in there, but I'm gonna show you some magic today. I started by sectioning my hair in a crispy half and half, and this is the section I'm most worried about. This faded teal, but one side has more than the other, so I chose that to be green, and you can tell that two colors ago I had purple, which is super faded, but I decided to do some test strands to make sure that these colors would show up well over the faded colors. So here are the exact same dyes I used in my original video 10 years ago. We got Manic Panic Electric Lizard and Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink, which can both be found at Sally Beauty. Let's start with Electric Lizard, which is a beautiful neon green that is so identifiable that anytime I see someone wearing it in public, I ask if it's this one and they always say yes. Like I know this color so well, but let's start with a test strip over the faded color I have left to make sure it will show up well. And I was very happy with how the saturation looked and that there wasn't really any color distortion because even though you can see the color before, it's so sparsely in the cuticle that it did get overpowered with this color. Now the hot hot pink is such a perfect neon. I loved it back then and I love it now. Plus, both of these colors glow under black light, so I'm planning a night out literally just to see myself glow. And I tested this over the teal and the purple pieces, and it worked perfectly, so now I'm super stoked to see this on my whole head of hair. I'm starting with green and using a hair dye brush so I can get right up to the roots and painting that as close to the center as possible, making sure I don't cross over the part, then painting my front roots as well. Next, I'm going in with pink and doing the same thing, making sure to get all the way to the part without crossing over. And I did the green first because it's lighter, just in case, but I didn't end up messing up, thankfully. Then my boyfriend Harrison helped me do the back of my head along the part because that would have been so hard to do alone, even with a mirror. So that was really nice of him and he got it super crispy back there. Then I moved on to filling in the rest of the green side using my hands and I just took globs of green and little sections at a time and made sure they were all saturated. I thought about putting saran wrap on the pink so I could flip the green pieces over but I didn't want to smudge the center together so I did it the hard way saturating as much as I could and pulling the pieces forwards and backwards instead of over and then really focusing on getting all the way down to the roots which is the hardest part but super important. Once I had this method down I did the same thing on the pink side making sure that everything was saturated all the roots had dye massaged into them to make sure that the back was done well. And of course, I got those evasive little baby hairs and behind my ears as well. Harrison also checked the back just in case. So this is how it turned out with the dye in it. And I told y'all I was gonna show you some magic because look how those teal and purple remnants disappeared under these colors. The secret is that although you can still see them before, they were so faded at a molecular level that they are such a tiny percentage of color that's in my hair right now, so it's pretty negligible and not really visible anymore. I rinsed the pink first, then the green, and I'll fix my bleached brows later since the runoff got me. And next I'm using Bond Bar's Bonding Curl Cream from Sally Beauty to help restore my hair's health and spreading it out throughout my hair, then going in with my brush in sections to distribute the product, to detangle, and separate the curls all at once. After that, I let my hair air dry because I don't like using heat on it, especially after doing so many processes on it. And this is the finished look. Personally, I think I did the original video justice and am obsessed with how vibrant the colors came out, how sharp the center split is, and I am so full of nostalgia every time I look in the mirror. You can find all the products I used at Sally Beauty and I have the links in my bio, so let me know what you think about this recreation and if it's a color combo you'd try out yourself.